In this video, I will be connecting Thrivecart with Automizzy so that any sales that happens through Thrivecart will be instantly Thrive transferred over to Automizzy and will be added to my email list. The integration will be done with the help of Pabli Connect, uh, which is an integration software which can bind two different applications together with a single interface. So I have already set up my product inside Thrivecart and I am going to open this product for the first time. As you can see, this is the checkout page of my product that I have already created. The first thing that you have to do inside Thrivecart so that the integration between Thrivecart and Automizzy works is to set up a webhook inside Thrivecart. To set up a webhook, you need to click on this profile icon. You have to go to settings button right here and then there is an API and webhooks option right here. Just click on it and then you will be reached to a page where it says webhooks and notification. Just click on it. Now you will be have you will have to set up a webhook so that any action that happens inside Thrivecart will instantly be sent to Pabli Connect so that Pabli Connect can then transfer the data to Automizzy and add the lead to Automizzy in real time. So the first step that you have to do is to go and log in into your Pabli account. So this is the Pabli account start dashboard. You can actually go to pabli.com and you just have to do a login. Once you log in into your account, this will be the first dashboard that you will see. The one software that we are interested here is Pabli Connect. So I'm just going to click on access now button right here. I can close the accounts dashboard. So the first thing that I have to do once I'm inside the dashboard is to click on the button which says create new workflow. So here I will mention Thrivecart to Automizzy. Again, Thrivecart is a sales software and Automizzy is an email marketing software. So I've just saved it. And the first screen that you say, see here is giving you a webhook URL. You just have to copy this webhook URL you have to move back to Thrivecart, delete any existing webhooks so that two different webhooks do not interfere. And just you can add a new webhook which says, which says sales notification. And you can then put the URL that you just copied from Pabli Connect. And once you do that, you can simply save this webhook. Okay. As you can see that your webhook is now successfully saved inside Thrivecart. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to refresh this page once and I'm going to reload uh, the checkout page. I'm going back to Pabli Connect and I'm saying that I've already, since I've already inserted this link inside Thrivecart, I am saying that you can wait for a webhook response to come. I'm going back to Thrivecart. I'm entering my email address here. This will be the customer email address because customer is going to purchase this product. This is a test sales page. Uh, in fact, this is a test checkout page. I just entered my card number. I just entered the month and then the year. And this is just a CVV number. So this is just a test card which we can use to do a purchase. So I'm just clicking on complete order button right here. It will just take two minutes. And as you can see, the order is now completed. And you can see the order is right here. So we will head back to Pabli Connect and you can see Pabli Connect has already captured your webhook response right here. It comes with order success tab. The mode is test. It gives you different details like the Thrivecart account name, the currency, the customer ID and all different things. The one field that we are actually interested in is customer field. If you open this customer field, you will see the email of this person. You will see the IP address of this person. You will see the name because we didn't have a name field in the checkout form. The name didn't come right here, but you can still see the email address. Now we are very concerned about email address because we want to send this email address to Automizzy. So we will just click on the plus button right here. And because this data is a bit complicated, we need to simplify this data so that we can map this data to a different step. To simplify this data, we will simply use the JSON extractor app, which is actually an app to simplify this complicated data into a simpler form of data. So I will choose the method as extract JSON data. I will click on connect with JSON and then I will just supply this key value, which is customer into this data field to supply this value. You just have to click on map button and just supply this customer value right here. Once it is done. Oh, sorry. Uh, once. Once it is done, you just save it 
and you send a test request. As you can see, now the data is coming out really well and we can actually map this data email, which is which actually carries the value that we are really interested in. So now we will move back to the next step because now we want to send this email to Automizy. So I will just click the plus button again. I will click on Automizy right here. Uh, the one action that we are interested in is to create a new contact on a list. So I'm just going to select this method. I'm going to click on connect button right here. And then it is asking us for a bearer token, which is actually an API key inside Automazy. So I am just opening the API token link right here because that way I can show you how you can grab the API key from your Automazy account. Uh, I will just click on new API key. I will just copy it and close it. And then I will just put the API key right here. I will just save it. As you can see, it automatically populated the list in my account and it already has my list in which I can enter the contact. There is only one field which is a required field and that is the email address. So I will just click on map button again and then I will select the email address which I got by firing the JSON extractor API in the last step and I will just map the niraga at gmail.com email address right here. So as you can see, I don't have any other data just in case if you have that, you can also map the data. Uh, but because I just have the email address right now, I'm just mapping it here. After this, I will just save the workflow and I will just try to send a test request. The test request is successfully executed and you can see the email address is now added. So I will just move back to Automizy. I will click on contacts and you can see within my email list, I have one new contact. I will just click it. And you can see the email address niraga at gmail.com is now automatically added with the help of Pabli Connect. Now, since this integration is already done, we don't have to do anything else. We just, we can just save this workflow and this will be permanent workflow, which will be saved inside our Pabli Connect account. You don't even have to do anything. And if you really want, you can even close out this window. Now, what I will do is I will just show you an example where I will be doing another test purchase through a different email address. So I'm just going to put a different email address again. Uh, I'm again copying the test card. I'm just putting the details right here. Again, putting out some random CVV number and I'm just completing the order. As you can see, it is currently processing. And now the order is almost completed. And yes, it is completed. So I will head back to Automizy right now and I will just reload this page. As you can see, the data is already right here. So this means the integration between Thrivecart and Automizy is working perfectly fine and everything is automated. Now you don't even have to go to Thrivecart anymore. All your email contacts will be added to Automizy on its own. I do hope that you might have found this video useful. Just in case, if you have any questions, you can reach out to our team at admin at pabli.com. Just in case, if you have any other questions, feel free to ask and uh, do get public connect if it solves your problem. Thank you.